Today, brands are built through community and having your own online community for sharing ideas, hosting courses, engaging in discussions, consulting, and more is powerful for both creators and community members. So today, I'm excited to share how you can create your own online community and monetize your knowledge and expertise using a centralized and feature-packed platform called school.com. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into this all-in-one online community platform, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and create, build, and monetize your online community with school.com. Okay, so to create your own exclusive and engaging online community using school, simply head over to your browser and type in school.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. And first, what we can do before we go ahead and create our own online community is navigate down and discover other free and paid private and public communities. These are exclusive groups that other creators and business owners have created. And we can do the same for our audience. Now, for those that are completely unfamiliar with school.com, essentially it's an online community platform designed for creators and those looking to grow a community and monetize through a unique blend of community, events, coaching, consulting, exclusive content through courses, and more. The great thing is you have complete flexibility over your community groups inside school.com. Choose if they are free, paid, or both. Now, just quickly, I wanna say a big thank you to school.com com for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel for me i've actually recently shifted my community from a different platform over to school.com i've found that this platform is one of if not the best online community platforms for creators and business owners looking to create an engaging community so again a big thank you to school.com for sponsoring this video and supporting our content Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create our own community by navigating over to create your own. Come down and add your account details. Then once you've added your account details, come down and click on sign up. Then simply add the verification code sent to your email. Then go ahead and add your community group name. Now in terms of pricing, you get access to a 14 day free trial, then every month it's $99 per month and you can cancel at any time. And this simple pricing plan gives you everything you need to create an engaging community. So you can test out school and all of their features for 14 days to see if it works for your community. Down here we have the option to make our group private or public. And because I want to create an exclusive group for small business owners, I'm going to keep private selected. Then come down and add your card details and then click on start free trial. And remember, you won't pay anything if you cancel within the 14 day free trial. Here we want to complete our profile so that we can build trust and better connect with our community. I'm going to upload a profile picture. And here's the image that I want to use. Then add a bit about yourself and then click on complete. And after you've completed your profile, which we can edit later on, what we want to do is complete setting up our group. Simply navigate over here and click on upload cover. I'm going to quickly add a group cover. I'm happy with this image position. Then add a group icon. I'm going to use this icon for now. Here we can change our group name if we like and below that we have the option to customize the URL. This is after you upgrade to the paid plan after your free trial. Then down here, what we want to do is add what our group is about. And like I mentioned, my community is for small business owners. So Small Business Connect is a community of driven small business owners looking to transform their businesses through expert advice and collaboration. Then down here, if we navigate down further, we can add the initials for this group and we can also change the group color. I'm going to change my group color to this color here. And then down here, we have the option to change our group settings from private to public. However, I only want my members to be able to see who's in this group, and I want the content to be hidden from search engines. So I'm happy with my group settings. Once you've made any changes, come down and click on update settings. Then navigate up to invite. This is where we can manually add members to our group. I'm gonna go ahead and add one member. 
and then click on send invite and that group invite was sent and that individual that member can join my group and create a profile and then engage in my group you can see the invites that are pending down here and you can also get an invite link to share with your audience and you can share this link across all your different channels and your audience will be able to join your group now at the moment this is a free community anyone can join this group if they access this link however if we navigate over to subscriptions we can add a pricing plan we can make money by charging a monthly subscription for access to our community and this allows us to customize our members experience we can decide the type of access that our members get either through points through a paid subscription a free subscription or more access depending on how they positively interact and engage in our community to charge a monthly subscription simply navigate down to add price then all you need to do is connect your bank account simply navigate through the step-by-step -step process of connecting your bank account and then you'll be able to monetize your group through monthly subscriptions we can also navigate over to payouts this is where you can see your payout balance as well as your payout history next what we want to do is come down to categories this is where we can add specific categories used to organize our group posts okay so at the moment we have general discussion what we're going to do is quickly add another category and i'm going to call this upskill courses and then a description and i'll show you how to use these categories shortly then we can also update the permissions and i'm going to add only admins because this is a category that only admins can use when posting courses to the group simply add your new category and i'm just going to quickly navigate through the same process of adding another category and as you can see i now have three categories used to manage my posts within my group next we have plugins and this is where you can integrate specific tools for example we can integrate zapier into our group and connect this with our crm okay so below plugins we have metrics this is essentially a place where you can see how your group is performing then we have gamification and gamification is a cool feature that school offers and is built into your groups meaning that your members can upvote anything they find valuable within your group and receive points and these points can lead to different levels within your group which will ultimately drive engagement through a visual incentive to get individuals involved in group discussions you can also incentivize engagement by unlocking courses when members reach a higher level and you can customize this the way that you like and that's just going to make your group more fun and drive more engagement for example with level one i'm going to go ahead and click on edit and change this to rookie and then click on save level two i'm going to change this to builder and for members that reach these higher levels i can unlock courses for those members and i'll show you how to do that shortly so i'm going to go ahead and click on save and then quickly navigate through that process of adding two more levels and as you can see i've gone ahead and customized four levels i've got rookie builder pro and unicorn again what you want to do is take the time to customize your different levels under gamification to add that level of fun to your groups then come down to links here we want to add some important links that our members can quickly access the first is helpful articles and the link will take people to helpful articles on my website and i only want my members to be able to see these links so i'm going to come down and click on add and then quickly add one more following this same process and as you can see i now have two helpful links for my members then i'm going to navigate down to billing and referrals and this is where you can get paid for referrals if somebody creates a group from your group you'll get paid automatically 40 percent every month and you can also share this link with other creators to add another income stream to your group okay so now that we've navigated through all the group settings let's go ahead and start building out our community if we navigate up to the top you can see that we have community here this is essentially where you can add posts next to that we have classroom and this is where you can create courses to share with your community next to that we have a calendar this is where you can create events within your group then next to that we have members this is where you can manage all your members and then next to that we have leader boards and this is based on the gamification that we set up as you can see i'm currently a rookie this is the label we added for level one in order to level up to level two i need to hit five points and this is based on engagement under community if we navigate down you can also click here and learn more about points and levels okay so if we click out of here and then navigate over to about 
You can upload images and videos to your group for your members to access. And you can also add a description down here. Now let's navigate back over to community. Now your community, your members have the same interface that you can see here. They can see the group that they're part of, the group name, type, as well as the group description, and then the helpful links that you added within the group settings. Members can see all members, who's online, and the admins. As an admin, you can simply go ahead and edit your group settings down here. Now, remember we added categories before, you can see our three categories up here. So let's go ahead and create a post for our community. For the title, I'm going to add, what are your favorite tools? Then for me, I'm going to add my top three tools for small businesses. As you can see, here are my top nine tools that are no code and free for small biz. Then with each of these community posts, what we can do is come down and add attachments, add links, embed a video, add a poll, add an action, which means if you want someone to execute a specific action, then if that member comments on that post, then for that member, that post will show as completed. We can also add emojis, a GIF, and we can select the category. I'm going to select general discussion and then embed a video. And you can add a video from these different platforms up here. I'm going to add a YouTube video and then click on link. And I can also add other content here if I like. Then down here, you have the option to send an email to all your members. This means you can send an email broadcast to all your group members to notify them of a new post. Again, this is going to help drive engagement within your community. To send an email broadcast, simply turn this on. For now, I'm going to click post. And up here, you can see who's watching this post. And then down here, you can also add comments and engage with your community. Similar to social media channels, your members can engage with a like or leave a comment, as well as have access to these different actions over here. Let's click out of this post and you can see our first post here. Now, what I'm going to do is navigate over to classroom and then add a course that's exclusive to my online community. And what I like about this platform is school gives you a single location to offer exclusive content and resources to your members, which drives engagement and creates an exciting and valuable place for your members to visit each day. Okay, so let's add a new course. The course is going to be called Notion 101. Then I'm going to add a brief description about this course. Then once you've added a course description, come down and choose who can access this course. If we click here, you can choose all members have access or you can choose only some members have access and you can choose those members or you can choose members of a certain level. And remember with gamification, we added those different levels within the group settings. I'm going to keep all members have access for now and then click out of here and I'm going to quickly upload a cover image and I'm happy with this. And I'm going to navigate down here and unpublish for now because I'm still working on this course and then navigate over to add. Then first, what we want to do is navigate over to new set and click here and edit the set. And this is going to be a set of modules. So think about sets as the different stages in your course that are used to group your different modules. I'm going to name this set getting started and then save. Then within the set getting started, we have one module here, new module. I'm going to navigate over to edit and then change the name of this first module to Notion Templates. Then come down and add a video resource for your course. Again, you have the different platforms where you can upload your video and then link inside school. For example, you could have an unlisted YouTube video that only your community members have access to within this course. So I'm going to add the course video from YouTube and then click add. Then down here, we can continue building out our course. You can see we have different formatting options. So depending on your course modules, you want to add the relevant content that you want to share with your members. Again, this could be a description about this module, and I could also add relevant diagrams as well as links to relevant resources. You can also come down here and click on add, add resource link, resource file, and add transcript. For now, we're gonna go ahead and click on save. Then I'm going to navigate up to these three dots, and here we can edit the course. We can also add another set, and we can add another module. I'm going to quickly add another set, and this is going to be called grow with notion and then click add then within this course set i want to click on these three dots and then click on add module in set and just like i showed you i'm going to quickly navigate through the process of adding another module and as you can see i now have two sets and three modules within this course if i click this drop down here you can see i have one module under getting started and then under grow with notion i have two modules down here now with each module, what I can do is click on these three dots. I can edit module, revert to draft, 
move this module to a different set, duplicate if I like the structure of a specific module, and then turn on drip status. This is if I want to slowly drip my modules to my members. Then we can also delete. Now let's navigate back over to community. I'm going to add another post, and the title is going to be Notion for Business, and then add the post, have you completed module one of our course? Then I'm going to click add action, and then up here, I'm going to add, let me know down below. And as you can see, when somebody comments, the action will be marked as complete. So this is a specific action that I want my members to take, and that is to watch and complete module one. Then I'm going to come down and select the right category. This is going to be upskill courses, and then post. Then click out of here, and as you can see, we now have two posts. Under general discussions, we have one post. Under upskill courses, we have another. Next, let's navigate over to calendar and create an event. For example, this could be a workshop. Then go ahead and add the date, time, duration, and time zone. I'm going to change the date to the 26th. Then you have the option to add this event as a reoccurring event. You can choose the location down here. Zoom, meet, physical location, or a link. I'm going to add a Zoom link, then a brief description, and then add a cover. And then here we have the option to select who can attend this event. Again, we have all members, members at a level, or members in a course. You can also choose to remind members one day before this event. Okay, so once you've added all your event details, come down and click on add. And you can see that event down here. Now let's navigate back over to community. And you can see that that event is happening in 43 hours and all our members can see this if we navigate up to notifications this is where you can see all your notifications and then we have chat over here this is where you can chat directly with your members and that is how you can set up and build an online community using school.com remember you can navigate back down to settings and under invite you can manually add your members or you can come down and get an invite link to share with your audience simply copy this link and add it across all your different platforms and embed this link into all your different marketing campaigns in order to grow your group. If we navigate down, you can also import email addresses to invite to your group and integrate school with your other favorite platforms and tools that you're currently using to build your brand, to build your business. Okay, so let's exit out of this. Now, before we finish up, I just want to summarize that school.com is an online community platform that is designed for creators and those looking to grow a community and monetize through a unique blend of community, events, coaching, consulting, different types of events like I showed you, exclusive content through courses and more. And like I mentioned, you have complete flexibility in the way that you set up and manage your online community. And there we have it guys, that is it for this complete school tutorial, helping you build an online community. Now if you have any questions about school, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.